Let's talk about the episode. Let's talk about the episode. So, it makes sense. It makes total sense why JJ went off the rails, why he started popping pills, why he wanted to shoot hard and wrong. We ain't stun line if she ain't been talked about. Why Will think he killed Adrian and went to prison went to prison for it even though it wasn't his fault? And how he blamed himself for this even though it wasn't his fault again. But it makes total sense how everything playing up to now, Will being in prison, wanna give up on his marriage, wanna set Sonny free, all that. And basically letting Sonny move on, move on with his life, even though he ain't had nothing to do with Adrian dying. But they did try to fool you with how it played out. And Will said, I was the black car. Um, Maggie was the gray car. Wait, he was the gray car. Maggie was the black car. For some reason, he think that he swerved and he the one that caused Adrian to run, out, run off the road. Even though it wasn't him this whole entire time, it was Maggie drunk, intoxicated, well, intoxicated. And what y'all say her name is? Mary riled her up, talking about take, taking a drink with her, with her bad kidney, or her bad liver. Like, if it went for her riling her up and the alcohol thing and guilt tripping that woman and Megan was a little bit more stronger, she wouldn't have felt for that. I think that was her little clap back, the daughter, or a way to hurt Maggie. That, Cause she hurt her all her life hurt her all her life, I'm guessing. I don't know their history, but yeah, that, that that daughter is something else. And she kinda can be responsible for that because ain't nobody tell Megan to start drinking. Um, especially not to get under the wheel. You decided to get under the wheel, get under the wheel that night, and you decided you want to drink and drive with the whole body in the car. So that was kind of your fault. We can only blame the daughter, daughter for about 10, 20 percent of that. The rest is yours to eat. Cause ain't nobody tell you to get in that car. Ain't nobody tell you to drink. There's other ways to deal with your guilt other than drinking and trying to, well, drinking your life away like you did. Because when um, Xander found you, he found that bottle empty or halfway empty. Like that whole bottle was gone. So that was kind of on you, Megan. And Will, you too kind-hearted for me. Like, I like you. You get on my nerves sometimes. Sometimes I can't stand you, but... Well, you too, you too cold, you too good hearted. Like, I know you want to think this is your fault that Adrian died, even though it's not your fault. Yeah, you might have swerved, but according to what I then saw, you weren't nowhere near Adrian. I'm guessing you are, I'm guessing you are so man, you swerved and caused Adrian to cause a wreck, the, um, the wrecking kill herself, even though. You probably wasn't even much near Adrian and all that. Ha like, well, you too good hearted. Like, that's what I love about you, your good heart. But it's time to lock that heart up. Like, you you've been doing, you been in um, prison for a whole year. You was running around here telling everybody that would listen from Justin, the Xander, and Victor. Who else you told? Um. You told Xander, Victor, um, Justin, um, Sonny, um, Xander told Sarah, cause she wanted to know who was responsible for it. Like, you went around having a whole tour about this. Like, will I get it, you kind, horny? Will I get it that you might think this was your fault, but not really? Like... I want to see how Sierra going to, I'm see, I want to see, well, I'm dying to see how Sierra going to convince you and try to tell you that this is not your fault, even though it's not your fault, because you still, in current, thinking that you're responsible, I'm doing the right thing, I'm setting Sunday free for me, 
He don't like to see me. Son, and hate the sight of looking at me, coming to see him. Why not set him free? Why not let him do what he want to? Why should he be tied down to me, the man that killed this mama? And Sonny killed me when when he when um when she found out he died well when he found out she died Sonny was killing me like I was about to I love the Adrian too but you was killing me son and that whole scene with you crying and what and stuff and you about to break down and all that then he come Will telling you oh I'm responsible for that. Like, well, I could have kicked you in your head for that because that was no need for you to do that. And I, like, I know you think it is, but it's not really. Like I'm saying, I'm going to see how long it's going to take for you, Sierra, and anybody else that she tell this story to and put the spotlight on Victor and Xander. How you going to convince yourself that this was not your fault, that you didn't kill that boy mama? which is going to open up an investigation and their slow Salem PD follow the rules correctly and follow the clues, they will get the right person. But again, we are talking about slow Salem PD. Yeah, they're going to arrest about three or four people before they get to the right person. So you already know slow Salem PD going to arrest about three or four people before they get to the right person. And then if they do have the right person, somehow they're going to let them escape like they always do. So, um... I'm waiting to go back to the current now. Okay, that's enough Mother's Day now. We get it. We understand up to this point. Uh, the baby switcheroo. Victor, you nasty as I don't know what. Now that I'm, now that I'm on y'all and your family, Victor, you nasty as I don't know what. I, I almost forgot about that till I looked at my notes and thought about it. Victor, you nasty. Really? So... The same Maggie, and I guess in your little sick head, Maggie caused this accident. Maggie caused her to lose her baby. Let's send her another baby. Uh, it was Victor's idea. I don't know if Victor did it himself, switched the babies, or Xander switched the babies, but both of y'all nasty as I don't know what. And the funny thing about this is they doing blood tests and all this to try to find a cure for this baby with cancer. So that means Brady and Kristen baby, they would have had cancer. Your baby, on the other hand, would have been scot-free or couldn't have had any health issues. Like, y'all did, well, Xander and Victor, y'all did this. Now look what's happening. Any blood get tested of that baby, I wouldn't recommend that. And I admit, and um, Xander, if I was you, I tell them no blood tests. Cause as soon as that blood test come up, it's a part of the family. But <laughs> Sarah ain't the mother, so. And we remember when they was doing the little cancer thing for the baby. Remember how. They needed samples from um Sarah and um Eric when they thought the cancer was, you know, they could stay in town and not Boston. Remember when they took that blood test? So we go back to Kern and them test results come back. All hell is gonna break loose. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So even if Kristen baby would have so well, she did survive. Um Sarah daughter didn't didn't survive. So Brady and Kristen baby would have had cancer. I don't want to imagine how that feels to have a baby with cancer. Cancer. I don't want to imagine how Kristen would have handled this. Well, she going to get her child back eventually. Maybe. If she lucky, she might get her child back anyway. There's going to be a whole lot of time she missed with her child. But that woman need her child. Like, Ain't no, no, there's no telling when that baby gonna exp mm, I don't want to think about that, but y'all need to go ahead and take us back to current now. That's enough in the background. Now take us back to current. We want to see after the blood test. We want to see once the babies realize, well, once the hospital know that this and this is not adding up Y'all got different blood types. How's this y'all baby? 
I want to get to that point because... I ain't gonna say Kristen trying to change cause she didn't have to push um well. I ain't gonna say what Abigail said. She pushed Haley down the stairs. I'm not gonna say push like she said. I'm gonna say she slipped cause the way it showed in the angle, that girl was scared. She was backing up or trying to, you know, backing up as she slipped. So that could happen to anybody. We didn't see several people fall downstairs on soap operas. If you watch them enough, you ain't seen people you didn't see people roll downstairs several times. So I just wanna know how the dogs love fly the stairs and everybody else on soap operas fall downstairs. How did everybody else survive or end up in a coma a coma or hurt? Why did Haley ended up dying? Now that part confused me. And Abigail didn't help the situation at all going to tell Hothead JJ, look, there's a situation. I know y'all had plans. Chris and push Haley down the stairs. And that all it took. Push and Haley in stairs. Abigail, you might have seen it, but you didn't see clearly. It's obvious you didn't sleep, see clearly. Clearly, you was down there. They was up there. Just cause she was on that woman like a wild boar, she didn't put her hands on that woman. She went to touch her, and that's when she slipped and went to rolling. Other than that, she didn't push. Now nah, it made sense why JJ got on them drugs. Well, them pills running around here like a crazy person, all in wrong, trying to shoot and kill Kristen. With a story like that, I want to kill Kristen to hell. Talking about some, she pushed him down the stairs. Yeah. And Victor and Xander, y'all might have cleaned this up, but see, you, you messed up, Victor. Let me tell you where you messed up at. Sierra wanted the truth. You didn't have to give her the truth. If you really didn't want this to come out, you could have kept this to yourself. You could have told her a fairy tale. Tell her a lie. Tell her a little white lie. Like, you told on yourself, which is now convenient for Will. We're going to get get um Will for to get out of prison. They're going to be looking for another suspect. So, y'all going to frame somebody else or... Y'all gonna let Maggie go out there and hang up, hang up, but hang up there to dry. So I don't understand why you told her, Victor. Now I know you love your granddaughter, your grandniece, granddaughter. I know you love her dearly. Knowing the situation and how critical it is, and Maggie age and how fragile she is, she she can't even much hold up to a bottle of alcohol. She just got to have that drink. Maggie ain't going to make it in prison. Even if they do decide to give her pro I think she was, she, she probably wanted to make it inside the doors of prison. Like, Maggie is too fragile. And either you better come up with a new suspect, take the blame for it, or find somebody else to blame. Like I said, Xander was right this whole entire time. Even though I did get on... Um, even though, um, even though I did um, get on Victor behind about the whole situation, yeah, Zelda was right. I got to take that back because Zelda was kind of right with the situation, meaning that why would you tell her this? This is going to get us all in trouble. What about Maggie? What was, what was you not thinking? Like, you played this well, Victor. I will give you that one. Well, you really ain't have to do too much. You got Will around here singing every chance he get, blaming himself, accusing himself. So, y'all didn't really do too much work. Y'all really didn't because we are around here confessing to anybody who asks. You got Maggie um, up here driving, knowing she shouldn't have. Y'all might have cleaned it up, but what Will help? Y'all only have to put too much effort in there. And like I said, Vic, the, this one is going to come to bite you like the other ones have. So you have fun with that one. Um, so um, I had another question, but I think I'm going to save it for the next day. But I'm going to answer it anyway. Okay, Derek. 
They both had on seat belts. Polly Pocket was pregnant. So you know her stomach sticking out more than what Adrian's stomach is. How did Sarah basically come out this thing sleeping and Adrian stand up for two seconds and now she dead? I don't get that. Do y'all get that? Because I don't get that. The impact, yeah, could have killed one of them, or you know. But how does a whole pregnant woman survive and don't get nothing but knocked out out of the whole accident? She not hurt. She not injured. The baby fine. Adrian, however, stuck. Her foot was stuck, she said, in the, on the um, passenger seat. I mean, the driver's seat. She couldn't move. She couldn't get out of the car. Now, all of a sudden, she finally out the car. She stand up for two seconds, falls out, and then say, you notice they say she did. I don't get it. Like, I was expecting that more out of Sarah than I was Adrian. But then again, Adrian did have her um her um cancer and all that. So judging by that, it probably could have overcome and overcame her. So I guess that was just how lucky Sarah was that she came out of the whole situation clean. Baby came out fine. No, the baby didn't come out fine. They keep, keep saying that and keep on forgetting that that is not Kristen baby that's dead. That's Sarah baby that's dead. So it makes sense now. Now that I said it out loud, it makes sense to me. She didn't come out of it clean. Her baby ended up dying from the um injuries of the accident. So... Anyways, though, y'all, I'm just babbling right now. Anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night and have a good weekend. Bye.